Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long and this video is going to show us how we can crop an image based on a particular shape. Now you can do this in any Microsoft package for example Microsoft Word or PowerPoint. I'm going to do one in both and what I've got here is I've got an image of me with my two dogs in my garden and I really want to get that image into something of this shape. Now there are two main ways that you can do that. Now the first way is you can actually go and get a shape that you want. So for example, we can go and insert one of these shapes that you want. So you can go find a particular shape that you like. I want this cloud. I want to put the image inside there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it the size I want. And then I'm going to go click on the, the, the shape and we're going to format that shape. Now instead of filling the shape with different colors, I'm going to use this picture option here. So hey, Let's go find a picture. Now we can get some icons or online pictures or maybe some stock images, but I'm going to get one that's on my computer. So I'm going to click on this option and it will take me to a dialog box where we can search obviously in your computer for the different images. Now I've got an image already here. This is the original image and I'm going to click on that one. Yes, that's the one I want and I'm going to insert it. Boom. And just like that, there you can see my image is now inside. Now I can get rid of this one. I don't need this one anymore. And there we go. I've got the image inside of the cloud so yeah, i don't like these blue lines so what you can do is you can go back to the shape and we can say the outlines we want to get rid of no outlines there we go that makes it a little bit better so there we can see it and so on so there we got our little image and you can crop it according to that shape and if you don't want if maybe you don't like i want a different shape sorry then you can click on the shape format and you can click over here this little option over there and you can actually go and change the shape to a different shape maybe i wanted it to be in a heart shape there we go. So we can see the lovely little heart picture. There we go. So there we go. So that's how you can crop an image according to a shape. Now, the second way we're going to do it is using PowerPoint. Now, you can do this in Word or PowerPoint. I'm just showing you that you can be done in other packages. So here we go. We've got PowerPoint. And there I've got the image already in my PowerPoint. Now, I'm going to go click on the picture format. And here under crop, you'll see there's an option where we can crop to shape. So if I want to crop it according to, let's say I really like that. Let's go back to that cloud. Where was that cloud? So there's the sun. There's a cloud. I'm going to click on the cloud and there we go. It puts it in the shape of the cloud. So there we go. So that's a, another way that you can crop an image according to the shape. Now this obviously works nicely in Word or PowerPoint. Now what happens if you would like to use this particular style image? Maybe you want it to be in a particular, maybe you want to change it. Let's change it to, we want to crop it according to a circle. Crop according to the circle. Maybe I want something like that. That's nice. Maybe we want this on a website. Now if you want to use this image on a website, we can save it as an image. You can just right click on the image and you can save as picture. And then you go to the folder that you want to save it. Now, this is a little tip. If you want to save it just like that, if I save it as a JPEG, so let's say picture one, if I save it, and then I go to that folder where that is, you'll see there's the picture. But the problem with that picture, although it's got a nice, you can see it, the circle. If I to actually copy that picture into this, if I to move it into a PowerPoint, so you see it's still got that, that white background, which is not actually what I want in a particular website, for example, I don't want that. So remember, don't do that. When you're going to save it, I'm going to go file, save picture as, and do everything exactly the same, except for this time, I'm going to save it as a PNG, a portable network graphics option. That one is an image where the, the background is transparent. So this is picture two. So let's save that one. And now if I go back to that folder, you'll see there's two images and they look almost identical. However, if I move picture two into my screen, you can see that there's no white block over here. It is fully transparent. So you can see there's no white block in the image. So that's what I would recommend. If you're going to save it for a website, remember, go right click, save picture as. And remember, when you're saving it, save it as a PNG option if you want to get rid of the background, if you want the background to be transparent. So there we go. Go make some images. Go to our YouTube channel. Click on that like button and then subscribe. Leave a comment. Go to our playlist and find other videos that can help you in the classroom. And share us with your other teacher friends. It would really help us. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.